Here's a springer. <coughs> Big up yourself, Rick Stam. Alright, we now wait for nobody, you know, because them reason, uh, them reason I don't know if you look crowd. <coughs> them reason are straightforward and balanced. You understand what I say? So we not really, we not really wait for the crowd, see? Come on. Tell me, say, real reggae now make again. This album is called The Resurrection. Coming out first week of August. Reggae. So don't tell me say real reggae and good reggae music not making anymore. We don't want to hear that excuse anymore. See? And when the white man them win the Grammy when they complain and ball, support reggae from Jamaica. See? <coughs> so that song is self-explanatory. That say love now have no color. See? Love now have no race. See? So when I deal with humanity, when I deal with humanity, you have to deal with love. Yes, when I deal with righteousness, you have to deal with love. Yes, when I deal with righteousness, you have to have balance. There must be a level of equilibrium. You can't be biased. See? You can't be hateful. You can't always be angry because you have anger, you know, because you have the higher self and the lower self. So sometimes we drop in our lower self and we do things, you understand? We are attributes that are attributes of the lower self. Zin? But when you're dealing with righteousness, you have to deal with love, and you have to deal with justice, you have to deal with fairness. No. I say a lot to say this. Brother Futa. You have to understand righteousness. And hate cannot be friends. Dennis Brown tell we you know. Love and hate can never be friends. Dennis Brown tell we that. The message the brethren supposed to still resonate with we as a people, especially we as a people we've been through a lot. See? We know what it is to be hated on. We don't want a one come to me say you can't mix up black oppression with whatever other people are fighting for or whatever people are fighting for or whatever other people are. Because hate are hate. You see? So we know what it feels like to be hated on. So when it comes down to hatred, we're supposed to, 
we have to be very careful how we propagate that or we transfer them energy there you see now me is a man not subscribe to religion me not subscribe to doctrine anymore me not subscribe to the literal story in the bible them and them things there but me read my bible the same way and me get inspiration from my bible the same way because me have it as one of the greatest one of the greatest literature book there's a thing in the bible where jesus said he never come for the righteous he came to call sinners to repentance See? Jesus said that you know. Jesus said he never come for the righteous. He came to call sinners to repentance. See? Now that deep enough. You know, That deep. Let me get rid of some of them destruction. Yeah? You know, I get rid of all of them. We can't try to get rid of some of them. Them enough. <laughs> enough, enough, enough. Damn. Boom. There must be a way of to stop some of them butcher from from forward, don't no? where them come from man? Damn. And some of them are genuine fans, you know. Cause he's a man of all music all I play all in a rated. Me have all song I play all in a in a thing there. In a some Arab country. <laughs> Let me look for my, my Spotify account, some Arab country me song I play, so I have to be careful of me even a black them. So I say language barrier, but I could try focus on what I say. See? No. Some of them are, are Brazilian too. Some of them are Brazilian too. Um, but I say go. So when Jesus said, Yo, he not come for the righteous, he came to call the sinners to repentance. What that mean? It means they never come for peace. People who are going like them righteous. People who are going like them holy. He never come for them people. He never come for cater to them people. He never come for win them people. So when we claim say we are dealing with righteousness, we have to be careful. If I win, we are try to win over the self-righteous them, or we are try to call sinners to repentance. In other words, when you see a brother and your sister do something that you deemed unrighteous you have to be careful how you go after that person or you go about correcting that person or you go about talking to that person how you go about reasoning with that person because your reasoning as in the case in my opinion the brother foot eye it's not about calling the sinners to repentance it's about to appease the self-righteous them because when you're correcting a brother or a sister when you're reaching out to a brother or a sister, when you're trying to put a brother or a sister on the right track, you have to do it with humility. You have to deal it with love. It can't be out of anger. It can't be like you're trying to tear down. It can't be like you're trying to cancel. You understand? Because your claim say, you have to do this. Because if you don't do this, you're not righteous. No, it means they are peace to the self-righteous them. And in so doing, you can get yourself in a situation where you look like a hateful person, where you look like a person where inhumane, or deal with people in an inhumane manner, or you come off worse than the person where you are judge. You see? You may come off worse than the person where you are judging. Because remember saying, you know, what is righteousness? 
and what is sin, what is evil. If you kill a man, you know, that unrighteous, you know. If you kill, a, kill an innocent man, that is unrighteous. May I go show you how many know that? No. Listen to this. Or why I say that? May I go show you why I say that? Listen to this. Me na love demonic picnic. Me na love no demonic picnic. Me get poor you. And me are telling you this straight. Any one of them turn fish or sprat or lesbian. God forbid. Knock on glass. None of them not gonna run. Any one of them gonna run. They cut off. Done with. Can't come on me yard. Can't come on a family reunion. Can't see me about that. I'm spitting up here and run my knife through your mouth. Man, I know when I get that little soft thing I'm from. Oh, everything. I don't want him. Love and hate cannot be friends, brother. If you're a youth, don't come out the way you hope or want the youth to come out here and run your knife through him because he come to a family reunion, then you know better than the person who you say unrighteous. You see, we are trying to keep it positive, but we know that people are going to take the negative side of it. And the mix upside side, but we could try to be positive and try to be balanced. See? How are you better than spice? We're going to sing for gay people. If you would have run your knife to your son, if he turned out to be gay, you are a murderer. Or you would have been called a murderer. And you would have to go to prison. And you would have said, and you have the self-righteous way you cater to, who will agree with that? Because and never them Jesus come for. Jesus came to call the sinners to repentance. He will not tell them, say, all are not sinners. I have to run my knife through no, and I have to run Peter's sword through no, Because you know, unrighteous. He never said that. Him hang out with everybody. As a matter of fact, he had somebody who him par with that handled the money, Judas, and him knew say he was gonna betray him. Him never say Peter, run your run your knife or run your sword through Judas. Furthermore, when Peter chop off the man's ears, I remember say we are dealing with this allegorically, you know. See? From the literature. Remember, when Peter chop off the man's ears because the man had violated Jesus, what did Jesus do? He said, Peter, what are you doing? Take up the man's ears and put it on. Now, you can't get more righteous than that, you know. That's what you call righteousness. That is what you call love. If you will kill your son, if he turns out to be gay, you cannot argue or you cannot claim righteousness. Let me tell you something about Spice. Spice serving her purpose and do even know that she's serving her purpose. Spice is serving her purpose and she does not even know it because she had a balance. She had a balance to you. And she's looking better than even you. We're supposed to be a leader, a righteous person. You are supposed to be the righteous one, you know. But Spice is looking more like Jesus. She doesn't even understand for her purpose because she rough around the edges. And you are going to say, you want money, she do it for all them things that she don't even understand her purpose because the universe can use anybody in the universe. Or let's say God then. Let's go with God. God can use a raven to feed Elijah. Make sense? 
a dirty drunker. God used to feed one of his prophets. So when you, I say, your son, for dead, because him gay, spice go out there and I show love to gay people because they are human beings too. Oh, Mr. Vegas, you're a Batman because you're talking about we have to show love to gay people because you don't know about righteousness. You see? But she is looking like a more human being than you. There's a way to convey a message and there's a way to bring sinners to righteousness or bring sinners to repentance. It has to be done with humility. It has to be done with love. It has to be done out of anger. Out of being self-righteous, brother. I'm going to show you another thing. Jesus went into the church when he was 12. 12 is 1 and a 2. The number 3 represents life. You know, our society them said it represents death, but not the name death. Death is an illusion. Number 3 represents life. Anytime you see the number 3, life it means. So Jesus went to his, into his ministry when he was 12. 2 and 1, 3. 1 and 2, 3. He did three years. He started preaching when he was 30. Another three. In the three years in I'm preaching that are 33. Two, three. Him stayed three days in I ground and he resurrected on the third day. Life. You see? Three means life. You see when I did the righteousness? There's a thing called Seasons. Everything has its seasons. Or its season. Jesus did him three years and him depart. You have to know when you reach a certain point. Because your message can get lost. Till you start look like you're not the real messenger, you're not a truthful messenger. Till you reach a point where you just say that kill your son, if him gay. Because you try to go over the tree. If I were you, me that did find ways how to teach. How to love, how to be balanced, how to be fear. Why me that do this? You out on the battlefield, a fight a war. You're fighting a war against unrighteousness. And you're asking for help in other war. And nobody is joining you in the war to fight with you. So you're alone out on the battlefield. And some people may say, yeah, that's the right thing, I'm alone out there. Because you are asking for help. That is the reason why your cuss the other day said Dexter Daps, them now burn out Batman like you. Because you want them to help you. The people that you have as your friends are the people who are on a platter for you. Are the people in way iconic? Are the people in way you read? Notice them not burn out the people in way you burn out, you know. They are friends. Notice that the people in way you would have like to help you in other warrior. Them not burn out the people in way you burn out. They are friends, brother. So you out here and you rate the man there and you have the man there as the greatest and you have the man there as righteous and you have the man there but when you look at the people them where you are born out the man those people are friends 
So you're not getting no help from them. So you're going to always be the lone voice then of the wilderness. Until you just get old and just start look like a miserable person. You're going to just start coming off as a miserable person. We fight a fight when nobody no care about. You see? You have to remember said them people are you know, our people nowadays. Then we burn out who them don't like. But if them like a person, them not going to join you. The sooner you realize that, and the better your life will be. You got a few people that jump up and array and roar and raw. Because them why you're dead miserable. Them why you're dead poor. Them why you to be their voice. You see? But notice. It's only when certain people do something immoral, you hear them talk. Once them like the person, them not go talk. Them not go burn the fire with you. So in other words, when I tell you, so you fight a losing battle. In a nutshell. Is that me really saying? What I'm really saying to you, brother, you're fighting a losing battle. You're like a foolish dog barking after a flying bird. All because of what? Trying to be righteous. But righteousness cannot be mixed with hatred. That is the reason why you become the foolish dog. You can't mix righteousness with being callous. If you were putting the message forward with love, maybe that the ear people, you know, or see more people from both sides of the spectrum, the sinner side and the Christian side or the righteous side or whatever, more people would be learning and more people that would understand where you stand. The world is a different place. And there are a lot of people on the internet. They just wake up to get something negative so they can run with. They must look for who they can tear down next. Who they choose to tear down. And if they still see somebody hanging on to the top, they continue to try to tear that down. And when they finally tear down the person, they look for another victim or they look for another person. You see? Try not to be one of them persons. Eh? I'm one of them persons. Eh? Try uplift. Try rise. Try help up. Try encourage. And I'm speaking in general now. That even mean me too, you know. Because I am not without fault. You have to understand that. One thing we learn in these days, compared to past, compared to years ago, when we were not cognizant of a lot of things, we're learning a lot now because we have a thing called the internet, YouTube, Google, all of them things, that those things are like libraries. So you have the library you can go to, to learn, to be more cognizant of things that you're ignorant to. A death sentence for a gay person in this time of age is based on ignorance. 
you don't have to support a person's lifestyle. You don't have to subscribe to a person's lifestyle.